everyone and welcome to my vlog. If you guys don't know me yet, I'm Dan. I'm an incoming freshman of a school of medicine here in the Philippines. Today we are finally going to answer one of the most difficult questions you need to answer before even deciding on starting with med school. In this video, I will be featuring five friends from the country's top five pre-med courses who I know can give the best advice for you to finally make that mind-boggling decision. A few weeks ago, I contacted them and had them answer three vital questions. What made you decide to pursue your pre-med course in preparation for med school? Second question, by experience, what are its disadvantages? And third, in general, why do you think your pre-med course is the best pre-med course to take? My cousin-in-law, Ms. Kathleen Johnson, is a second-year medical student from the Cebu Institute of Medicine. She graduated with Bachelor of Science in Psychology in the University of the Philippines, Diliman. Let's listen to her take on this topic. Hi, I'm Kat, a second-year med student from Cebu. So I graduated Bachelor of Science in Psychology back in 2017. Um, just a short background, I don't come from a family of doctors. So throughout this whole journey, I'm a papa talaga ako. Um, isip ko lang makapasa ng isang pilad course na gusto ko and um, eventually get into med. So psychology because um, one, ano nila magandang pre-med yung site. And maraming site graduates na nagpapisive ng med. Well, second, because of my affinity for the social sciences as well. And then lastly, because as a doctor, it also be dealing with people. And fourth, because psychology gives you a background in one of the um, specializations in medicine, which is psychiatry. Fast forward to med. When you're in first year, it's a level, level playing field for everyone. Because yung mga subjects nyo, basic sciences. Come second year, dun yun na talaga magagamit yung advantages ng pre-med courses nyo. So for me, I felt like I had the advantage in psychiatry because I already took abnormal psychology and pediatrics. So for psychiatry, kung first time mo yung magbukas ng DSM, sobrang mabibigla ka talaga sa jargon. It takes time to get used to. Time is not a luxury we have dito sa med. Kasi yung one sem na inaral namin, no undergrad, one week lang namin tinackle dito sa med. So second is pedia. Yung horrors of pedia, maraming minimemorize, maraming value. Sa dami-dami ng kailangan i-memorize, I think may edge ako dun sa uh, developmental milestones na, na, na napakarami na nagtackle na namin nung undergrad. And then naaral na din namin yung mga psychosexual stages, psychosocial stages, and then mga theories of learning. So nakapag-focus na ako sa ibang um, aspects ng pedia. Pero, syempre, may disadvantages rin naman. Second year, we're currently taking internal medicine, pathology, pharmacology, microbiology, and parasitology. Sobrang nahirapan ako sa pharmacology and micro-para. So, sa pharma, madugong memorization siya. Like, nakakalito yung mga pangalan ng ibang gamot. Di mo alam kung gamot or Pokemon. And then next is, um, second is ang microbiology and parasitology. Marami akong organisms na na-meet na ngayon ko lang nakikita. Tapos, kailangan mo pang alamin buong life cycle nila. Yun, um, nahirapan talaga ako. At the end of the day, we all strive to become good doctors. And a good doctor doesn't necessarily have to be the smartest med student. A good doctor, for me, is someone who empathizes with their patients. Our next speaker is Ms. Ira C. Lam. She is also a medical student from the Centro Escolar University School of Medicine in Manila who graduated with Bachelor of Science in Pharmacy and is now a registered pharmacist. And it's one of the good influences why I decided to start blogging. Hello guys! So, uh, Medlife Crisis PH asked me if I could answer some of her questions uh, na maaaring makatulong sa mga friends natin na undecided pa rin kung ano yung uh, course na gusto nilang i-take, especially yung mga pre-med courses. Uh, if ever na they want to pursue medicine someday or uh, they want to have a good career in the future. First question is, 
what made you decide to pursue your pre-med course in preparation for medicine. Frankly, uh, three courses yung nasa isip ko before, uh, which was BS Bio, MedTech, and BS Pharmacy. Yung BS Bio kasi, uh, parang nirecommend siya nung pedia ko, yung pediatrician ko, uh, na maganda siya as a pre-med. Kaso nga lang, the downside is you need to really continue to medicine kasi yun nga, wala siyang uh, licensure exam. So, naisip ko noon, paano nga ba if ever na magbago yung isip ko, ganyan, after college. So, hindi ko alam kung saan ako mapapadpad, kung yun yung kinuha ko. Kaya, to make the long story short, uh, pharma yung napili ko dun sa tatlo. And, um, isang advantage kung bakit pharma yung napili ko is because, uh, although may board exam siya, pero once you pass the board exam, and if ever na, uh, nagbago yung isip mo, if ever lang naman, then you can put up a drugstore or mga butika. Kasi you need a uh, license ng pharmacist para makapag-open ng mga butika. Pero since uh, nagtuloy ako ng medicine, uh, for now, wala pa naman siyang <clears throat> masyadong impact sa medicine life ko since incoming second year pa lang naman ako. Pero, this second year kasi may subject na kami na pharmacology. Doon, you need to uh, <clears throat> be familiar with the uh, drugs, yung mga mechanism of actions niya, yung effect sa katawan, side effects, etc. Yung mga uh, drug of choice, ganyan. So, I think uh, mahirap din naman yung pickle this medicine, siguro compared sa pharma, pero somehow baka mas madali na para sa akin mag-aral since uh, parang medyo, syempre, naaral ko na yung iba dyan ng college, so medyo familiar na ako dun sa mga drugs and uses and all. So in the future, feeling ko uh, helpful yung pagtiti ko ng pharmacy as my pre-med course, lalo na siguro sa uh, pagpe-prescribe na magamot kasi meron na akong background niya nung college tapos yun nga naaral ulit ng uh, dito sa medical school so ayun lang yung feeling ko na uh, advantage pero kasi even though yung mga klase ko ay hindi far malahat syempre iba't ibang courses na yun uh, maaaral naman yan so siguro yun na yung advantage na medyo familiar na ako sa mga gamot na itatakas sa amin siguro this year so, question number two. By experience, what are its disadvantages in med school? So, ano nga ba yung mga disadvantages niya? Parang na-observe ko lang nitong first year med, yung, although magagalit naman talaga lahat mga klase ko, pero parang yung mga med tech, parang hindi sila ganun nahirapan. Ewan ko lang, pero yun yung na-observe ko. Uh, lalo-lalo na pagdating sa mga values, ganyan. Although kami, tinuroon din naman kami ng konting background ba. Halimbawa, sa uh, mga blood tests, yung mga values, ganyan, yung mga normal na ranges. So, ewan ko, ang dali lang talaga nilang pumick up. Pero feeling ko naman ay hindi uh, disadvantage na hindi ko tinuloy yung pag uh, med tech ko nung college. Uh, kasi parang pagdating mo sa medicine, uh, back to zero na regardless of the course na tinit mo nung college. So, I think, uh, hindi naman disadvantage na pharma yung tinit ko. Although, uh, parang nagkaroon ako ng academic shock ba yung tawag din? Na, yun nga, sobrang nag-adjust talaga ako ng medicine. Thankful pa rin naman ako na nakatapos ako ng first year med ng maluwalhati at uh, alive and kicking naman. <laughs> Uh, for the last question, in general, why do you think uh, pharmacy is the best pre-med course to take? Hmm. Parang naalala ko kasi no, nung in-interview ako for School of Medicine, uh, nung nag-apply pa lang ako, inanong kasi sa akin, anong advantage ng uh, titake ko ng pharmacy as my pre-med course sa uh, medical field, sa medicine field, ganyan. So, Ang naisip ko agad nun is uh, counseling, sa dispensing, uh, kung paano ko maiipaliwanag ng ayos sa patient, yung mga do's and don'ts, ganyan. Although, ituturo din naman yan ngayong medicine. Pero, syempre, yun nga, kagaya nung sa first question, medyo related yung sagot ko sa first question and dito sa last question na familiar na ako somehow sa mga drugs 
lalo lalo na kapag nag-prescribe na ng gamot, ganyan. And, uh, maiipaliwanag ko ng maayos sa mga patients yung kumparasan yung gamot, yung mga kung kailan i-take, kung kailan kung ano yung mga dapat at hindi dapat, etc. etc. So, ayun lang guys. Uh, sana nakatulong tong short na clip ko sa inyo kung uh, torn kayo sa pagpili ng pre-med course if ever you are uh, wanting to pursue medicine someday. So, uh, plug ko lang yung channel ko. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, Ira Silang. So, hanapin nyo na lang po yan and yan, God bless po!